Welcome to Asian Connections. I'm your host, Amy Zahara. This episode, we're here at the editions at You Think You Can Dance Canada Season 3. So we'll be seeing some amazing dancers and also talking to two of the judges. But first, this could be a word from our commercial coming up next. We're here at the editions. We met some of the dancers. So why don't you guys introduce yourself first? I'm Sasha Kozak. Hey, I'm Michael Bowie. So are you guys excited being here? Yes, definitely. <laughs> Most definitely, yeah. <laughs> is this your first time? Because it is season three. Do you guys try out for the first two seasons? Um, I think we both tried out for the first season, and then we weren't able to try out for the second season. But this year, we're good to go. Sounds good. So how long have you guys been dancing for? Uh, I've been dancing for 20 years now. I've been dancing. This will be my ninth year. And what can you bring to the table that other dancers can't? Snaz. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that other dancers can't. Hmm, I'm short, so actually it's going to be tough for the choreographers. I don't know. I think personality. Personality, personality. shy. Sure, oh yeah. Some Definitely have to bring to this. Yeah. Can you guys give us a sample of what you could be showing to the judges? Um, sure, you go first. I go first. Okay. okay. <laughs> Great job, you guys! Tough. It's going to be tough out there, but I'm sure you guys are going to be doing it. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you, Thank you very much. much. Vancouver, if you think you can dance, get in there! back you guys I'm here with Blake thank you for joining me you're welcome it's the early morning it's the additions for you think you can dance Canada yes. how has it been going it's been going amazing we've done two cities so far and now we're in Vancouver and excited to see the talent here have you seen anything outside yet or is it just too early to say uh, yeah I've been outside I've been dancing with the Olympic mascots which was pretty fun uh, so we did a little thing for e-talk over there but yeah uh, there's a lot of dancers lined up so I'm ready to see what's going on so it's season three. Can you tell us a little bit about how everything's been going since progressing from season one? Uh, well, it's just been getting stronger and bigger, I think. Um, you know, the kids are really taking notice to it, and we're getting a lot of talented dancers, more serious dancers. I think season two is stronger than season one, and I think season three is going to be even stronger. What have you been seeing in Montreal and Toronto? Is there a new trend, or is it just the bar is just getting higher and yeah, higher? The, the bar is just getting higher. We're seeing a lot of the f same familiar faces, you know, because I said, like, we literally when we get to final week, you could cast, like, five shows out of, out of the talent we have, and it's so hard to pick top 20, you know, so it's nice to see the familiar faces, and then also the new people that haven't auditioned before when, you know, they've been too young recently, and now it's their first time that they can come out and audition. So there's a lot of people outside. We've seen a huge lineup. Um, what can you say to the people that are coming in? Some of them are new. Some of them have probably been here since season one and two. Any feedback? Just confidence, man. Star quality. That's what we, we need on the show. You know, we want to cast stars and, and relatable people that, that uh, these people can pick up the phone and vote for. Uh, so come, come with your confidence. Come with your A-game. We want to see your technique, your versatility, uh, and star quality. Anything else? Can you tell us a little bit about season three? Any surprises that we can see? Or is it just top secret right now? Uh, yeah, everything's pretty much top secret. But what I can tell you is that if you want to come and train with the dopest dancers and all of the most amazing um, celebrity choreographers, go to CoastalDanceRage.com. You can come train with us across the country. It's amazing. CoastalDanceRage.com. You want to be there. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. All righty. Thank you. So when you're watching the dancers, can you kind of see who's going to be in the top ten? Or is it really hard to say? Uh, you know... It's funny because it played tricks on our mind because while you watch a solo, the first, the first introduction onto the stage, they do a solo and it's amazing, it's beautiful and you, you have like great expectation. Or some people doesn't really impact you at first, like I'll give you an example, very, very easy example. Nico Archambault had to do the choreography. So he didn't go through uh, the finals right away. 
He had to go through Blake's choreography, and all of a sudden we saw when he did Blake's choreography, amazing he was. And he kept going up and going up and going up. So people may, might think that, oh, he was like the winner from the first time he was on, on the stage, but, but it's not his journey. His journey went up and up and up, and af after that he was a beast. It was unbeatable, but it, it's, it's just telling you that everybody deserve a chance and and you may uh, do a, like an amazing great first impression and it could go down from there or the opposite a good impression and going up all the way to the top so season three do you know if there's any could be any surprises can you tell us a little bit about it no no not at this point it 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 proved in the show as very consistent in their prices, so I would assume it will be the same thing or more. I have no idea at this point. But what it, it, I can tell right now, we already have dancers, and it's going to make everybody so happy. And, and they, it, we're going to stick, we're going to rivet viewers to their couch uh, when the show will air, because I think it's going to be fantastic. So already in two city, I'm so excited. So. No, it should be definitely a good show, so we could definitely have to check it out this season. Well, good luck with the rest of the season. Thank you very much, and thank you to show the support on our uh, show, because at the end of the day, it's the Canadian dancers who benefit of it, and thank you so much. You're welcome. Welcome back, you guys, to Asian Connections. That was our show today. We were here at Think You Could Dance Canada Editions. Season 3, it will be on the TV fairly soon. If you have any questions regarding this show or any other show, hit me up at amy at See you guys next week.